In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to do inventory adjustments. So this could be, you know, um, inventory counts or you just need to change something. Um, this is the, we have an operation in the inventory module. So we're going to go ahead and, and uh, go to the inventory. And then uh, one of the first things that we can do here is we can go to our operations and inventory adjustments. Now this will bring up, this report is everything that has a positive or negative inventory amount in in the system. So uh, anything that have, has a zero quantity set won't show up in the system. Now in this in this um, view, it's barcode scannable. So if you have a barcode reader and you want to just uh, have your computer with you, you can or a laptop or something, you can go around and do an actual physical inventory uh, count. You can just Put your cursor in the search field and uh, barcode scan the item and it will filter it for that um, that item if um, if you have it there so you can do that as always there's different uh, items that you can toggle on and off here that you can use to say hey, accounting date or available quantity you can put that on there uh, on hand quantity and then uh, what we're going to do is um, we can also do some some group guides to make it a little bit easier to see. So we can group by our product uh, location, our storage category. Uh, most often, not, we'll just do it by product category. So uh, in this case, uh, we've got a big category called office furniture. So I'm, I want to come through here and just look at all of these. And uh, these columns are also adjustable. So if you want to be able to see the full name there, uh, you can. So once you've once you've got your view the way you want it to, uh, you can go th go ahead and start doing your inventory counts. So if you you can just start, you could scan it, or you can just go down and uh, we can start with cabinet uh, drawer here, cabinet with doors, and we're just going to put in the counted quantity and say, yep, that was um, that was actually what we had. So we're going to type type that in and click out. And then what that does, um, I need to adjust my thing here, is uh, it gives us this apply button. So now you can say I've, I've counted it and I had 50, so we're good to go and I apply. And then that's going to update our count date to, to the actual date here. So now, now that's gone. Um, we can change those. Uh, we know that it's you know that last count date is is good to go. So maybe we can go into here in the individual workspace, um, but maybe when we count that, we've only actually got twelve. We lost a couple of those. Who knows why? Um, so you just go ahead and apply that. It's going to put that difference there. You're good to go. So that's uh, that's the the basics of it. So you can open up this this field here and go through and do your counts and apply them. Uh, you can go through and do a lot of counts and then just hit this button up here called Apply All. And that will apply all of the uh, counts that you've done, so you don't have to hit it every time. Um, so yeah, that's from this interface. Now, uh, there is a way if, if you want to do a more manual count, you can export these into a spreadsheet and, and give them by, by category to uh, an employee and have them go... Uh, enter the spreadsheet in and they can do that uh, there's so I'll just show you real quick how to do uh, a quick uh, spreadsheet export and that uh, for just that category so you can just hit the select button here and it will say hey you've got 43 um, lines available or 43 select all 51 that's going to get all of your products we just want the 43 that are in this category so um, we are going to um, go to our action and export that as always. Now this is where we get into if you want to, um, if you're going to have your staff enter it in Excel by and then re-upload, you're going to want to update, you're going to want to click this button here that says I want to update data. Otherwise, um, you can uh, just leave that blank and if you're going to 
hand type it in later, you can you can do that as well. So it depends on how you want to do it. But once you've chosen the fields that you want, uh, you can you know you're going to want the product uh, ID, and we've got that here. The product is here. So you can arrange how you want your spreadsheet to look like. Um, maybe we don't really care about the the lot or the serial number or the package uh, or the scheduled date. We, maybe we just want the product and the counted quantity, and we can export that. Um, and that will give us an Excel export. You can go through and do those. And then as long as you have selected this, you can come back in later and um, do a, a favorites import records and then upload that that spreadsheet. If you're going to do it that way, if you're going to do it manually, you can go through and and just use that spreadsheet to type in your, your numbers manually and apply them. Uh, last but not least here, I just want to uh, go ahead and show you that if, if you're going through your account and you're in your location and you scan the item and it doesn't show up in your list, it's because it's set at zero inventory or it has zero inventory. It doesn't have a positive or negative. You can go ahead and add add a line here and you can search your product, add it in, and then do your counted quantity. So uh, you can add those manually as needed and make sure that you get everything counted. Hopefully that's helpful and uh, oh, there'll be a click through guide as well to uh, help remind you what the what the steps were. Thanks.